Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. Um, in the comment section in one of my previous videos, I got a request more of a, a comment. You should do a rod and reel arsenal. So that's what I want to get into. I've done this a few times, but you know, every so often, you know, as, as anglers, you all, we all accumulate more rods, more reels, even when you think you have enough. You, always find a reason why I know maybe it's just me but that's what happened so I got a few of my rods here laid out I want to go over those with you guys uh, go over the the length the actions the reels I have and uh, what I use them for so here we go let's get right into it all right first up guys I'm gonna go with the rod and well the reel it's fluctuated, it's bounced around different reels, different rods throughout the years. But this rod itself is a tech spec. Watch the wall. Tech spec there. Seven foot three, medium heavy. As you can see, I have a buzz bait on it. And I have, <clears throat> I believe it's a fast action. Yes, fast action tip. And I got a buzz bait on there with, uh, I think it's 30 pound braid on this. I have a little Sia Silver Max here. I use this quite often, uh, mainly for top water, buzz baits, and the small um, whopper poppers and night ties. So that's what I use that one for. Next, this is my drop shot rod or rod I would use for a uh, weightless worm. Of any sort or any little shaky head but this is my inferno let's say this is a seven foot medium action it's two-piece rod i use that for drop shots weightless senkos weightless worms stuff like that and i got a light line on that one i believe it's about 10 pound fluorocarbon on that all right guys next rod i put a lot of work in on this one i use it quite a bit and actually sometimes i use it in salt water so this is my Bass Pro Shops uh, Graphite. And this is a seven foot medium heavy. As you can see, I got a tube on there. I used that in previous videos out of Cane Creek Reservoir with NC Fish on. And we, uh, we did all right, caught a few fish. Then I have a Daiwa Laguna. This is six, three, and one. Left hand retrieve, all my reels are left hand retrieve. I'm right handed, but I feel more comfortable retrieving with my left hand. So. And that's what I have here. Laguna 108 LA here. Mono on this one. That's 17 pounds. All right, next rod is uh, it's fairly new. I got it last year. And on this one, I have a Bass Four Shots Bionic Blade reel. 7 0 to 1 gear ratio, 50 pound braid. I have a buzz bait on there, but I usually use it just for. Uh, frogs and big jigs and it's the seven foot heavy boy ducket all right next rod and reel is what I used in my previous video my last video and this is my <clears throat> lose laser SG 7.3 medium heavy fast action tip I got a swim bait on there this swim bait is, uh, I got it in the Lucky Tackle box. I believe it was the month of November, maybe October. I think it was October. The Lucky Tackle box goes pink. And I use this uh, Biwa 7 here. Catch a few fish here and there. So Then, got it paired up with a 631 gear ratio Shimano Caius 151. This is my newest reel here. And it's smooth, but it's probably the smoothest reel I have, honestly. So I'm looking forward to getting quite a few more of these. It's a pretty good deal. I believe it was an $80 reel. And uh, it works great. So again, this rod, 7.3, medium heavy. I got 17 pound mono on here. I like to use mono a lot over uh, fluorocarbon. This is how it is sometimes, this is what I like. So, 
All right, and I have a salt water rod here, guys. This is a, op a quantum optics. I got this uh, this past summer when I went to the beach, and I got a, a quantum optics reel here. Got some thirty pound braid on there. This is strictly just for salt water. Only salt water. This rod. I'm running out of space here. I got to move some of this stuff around. All right. <clears throat> Next up, I had this a lot for a long time, and I use this. This is my ultra light. Extra, extra light. Extra light rod. Two piece, six foot. Excuse me. Got a little rope runner there. Four pound mono. Use this for crappie and. If I hook into a bass, then I might go in for a long or nice fight. So that's what I use that one for. Put this over here. Next up, we have this is actually my fiance's rod. I gave this to her, and this is a Berkeley Shock with a, another bait caster from Abu Garcia Silver Max. So this is a 6 3 to 1. Mono on there, 17 pounds, and this rod is seven foot, medium heavy, fast action. Last but not least, my newest rod, which the reel should be the Shimano on it, but I just kind of switch it up sometimes. I use this in a previous video, and this is my cranking rod, but I have a a spook on there that I used in a previous video. I wanted to use the spook. So I wouldn't have to actually set the hook too hard with this nice soft tip. This is a medium cranking rod from Boy Duckett. And I got it on a Octane, Quantum Octane 6 2 to 1, slow gear ratio. So I don't have to reel that spook in too fast. It's working nice and easy and get a nice bite on it. So guys, that's all of my rods, all of my reels, other than this last one. This was a reel that I use a lot um last year year before that and got into a situation when I was in my kayak and I caught a nice sauce of bass caught a five pound bass on the top water of what was it called the bone colored whopper popper 90 and I dipped a reel in the water I just need to clean it I know that's what it is but I got my 13 fishing rod here reel Eight one to one gear ratio, and what's going on with this? I need to get it clean or get some maintenance done to it. It's kind of locking up right there, is where it stops. Sometimes, as you can see, it's not moving. But I'll get that fixed soon enough, or I can just take it apart myself. I'm trying to, or I need to send it to somebody actually and have them do it. So I won't screw it up. So, um. These are all my rods, my reels, reels and rods that I do use. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. And guys, I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.